My name is Chase, and today we're going to be talking about magnesium. Now, magnesium is one of my favorite elements because it has some really cool properties. And then along with that comes some very interesting real-world uses. Now, as we can see here, magnesium has the atomic symbol of Mg. And it also has the atomic number of 12. This is an atomic model of magnesium. Now, the atomic number 12 means that it'll have 12 protons, 12 neutrons, and 12 electrons. This is the periodic table of elements. And as you can see here, this is magnesium. Now, magnesium, as you can see here, is an alkali earth metal, along with five other elements. This means that they will all have similar physical and chemical properties. When it comes to the discovery of magnesium, you can actually thank two scientists, Joseph Black and Humphrey Davy. In the year 1775, Joseph Black discovered magnesium. However, it wasn't until 1808 that Sir Humphrey Davy was able to actually isolate magnesium. So now let's talk about some of the physical properties of magnesium. So as you can see here, we have a bar of magnesium. And as you can see, it is a silvery grayish color. Also, what you'll notice about magnesium is that it's very light. It's about two thirds the weight of aluminum. And there are many people who will actually call magnesium the lightest usable metal because you wouldn't necessarily want to mess with lithium, sodium, or beryllium. So we know that magnesium is super light, but it is also strong. So if you have a super light metal, that's also super strong, you will get a super useful metal. And that's exactly what magnesium is. Magnesium is actually the third most commonly used structural metal, just after iron and aluminum. Now this makes it useful in creating the bodies of cars, aircraft, and even electronics. So now let's talk about some of magnesium's chemical properties. First off, magnesium reacts with water at room temperature. This actually creates oxidation, creating heat. Now the US military took note of this and created flameless ration heaters. Now inside of here, we have little magnesium filings, and when you add water to it, it heats up heating your food. If you'd like to watch my full video on it, there's a link in the description. Next off, magnesium is very flammable, as you can see here. Now magnesium burns with this bright white light that is very hot, close to 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Because of this, magnesium is used in all sorts of fireworks. Now this has been used in good things, such as sparklers, but it has also been used in bad things, such as incendiary bombs. Now, this is very effective, because if you try to put magnesium out with water, it will just react with hydrogen and it won't go out. The only true way to put out a magnesium fire is to smother it in sand, and that can be very difficult when you have a whole building on fire. Also, during the very early ages of photography, these flash bulbs were used. So as you can see here, we got an electrical current going to a very thin wire of magnesium. And now when this was given a current, it would ignite with this big bright light lighting up you for your picture. Magnesium is also used in these. Now this is a magnesium fire starter. So here we have magnesium on the bottom. Now you can shave off some magnesium with your knife. And then on here we have a ferro rod. And you strike this and it produces a spark. And that spark goes into the magnesium, lighting it up in flames. This is useful for camping or survival if you don't have matches or a lighter around. Now, magnesium is also found abundantly in the body and is used for many chemical reactions. So as you can see here, it helps with your big muscles, it helps on fighting off infections, and it even keeps your bones nice and strong. In conclusion, magnesium is such a cool and versatile element, all the way from producing cars to keeping your meals warm to helping your body fight off infections. Thank you so much for watching this video. And now I hope that you have just as much of a love for magnesium as I do. If you enjoyed, please subscribe. Thanks.